Okay, you guys ready? Radio, great tens. Here we go, go, go. It's another one point perspective, and uh, we're going to get straight into this one. If you do need some more background, please watch the previous videos and lessons because they're going to be beneficial. In this one, we are going to draw with confidence. First rule here is whatever is touching the picture plane, this front part is going to be drawn on the ground line in line with that top view. Um, solid name and our vanishing point is going to be in line with the SP and on the HL so you're going to make that mark clearly all right we're going to use the top view to just project down our key measurements here so just in construction um, don't draw them all the way because there's many other lines that you're going to be drawing just here uh, the door, I missed the door there, and I'm going to do that right here at the end because it is anyway um, not that high. There's the corner, and then the back corner is here. All right, using our front view, the this base here, all of that in yellow is solid, so I can draw that one nice and dark. And then we have, they've given us an indication of where... To get is that just to get that angle we're going to use this corner and that corner this one is here all right so if you look here that like that those three should line up and that part is dark because that is right on the front our height here that's dark. So it's like a church building almost that we're drawing here. Side there. And side there. This part I'm drawing construction. Why? Because it's actually further back. You've seen that. So you're only drawing that part of the church that's touching the picture plane nice and dark. That door is also included in that. Okay. That's the first step in one point perspective. All right, there is a window on that side. We'll just draw it in construction, the height. Make a note of that height. Also there. And just see here, there's another window here that's actually a quite big on the side of this church in line with the door. So just making those two markings also for future. And then um, there's the window and there's the window in construction. So that part is going to be further back. The big challenge with this specific drawing is the top of this church tower. All right. And it's a challenge because the center of it is further back. For some of you, it might be a challenge. Okay. But we still have to draw this front view in construction here. So we have that center line coming down of that church tower. And we have our height coming across. So we're just going to draw this in construction. And the reason for that is we are going to project back from this front view to our vanishing point. And just stay with me. Put your pens down if you're in class and pay attention to this quickly. Okay. There's the top of this tower if that top was right on the front. Do you agree with me? But it's not. It's further back. To get back, where do I have to aim? I have to aim to the vanishing point. So this line here that I'm drawing now here is in fact a line that runs from the front all the way to the back there. Do you agree with me? And so now I can go and on that line I can just bring down the top of that tower down to the, aiming to the SP up to the picture plane. Bring that down. And that is the top point of that tower. And on the front, from this corner, there's a line going to that, yes or no. And there's a line going from this corner to it. And now I just have to find the back of it. And so to get the back, this corner is this front corner. Where does it go to? It aims to the, if I would extend that to infinity, vanishing point. Okay. How far to the back before it, something happens? There it is. Down to the picture plane. Are you hearing me doing the same steps over and over? 
No stress or anxiety. Same steps. And there I have my tower. That's the most difficult part of this drawing. You've gotten it right from the bat. Okay. Good. Now this comes down. This corner also aims to the back. Here's my tower. What's this corner here that they've given me here? That is the ridge, the roof ridge going to the back. So I have to draw that also in construction. Good. And now I can find the back there. Down to the SP. Okay, so that ridge there, it's this part that sticks out. From here it goes down to this corner at the back, and I have to bring, of course, this. If I can find that corner, I can then determine that corner. So we're going to take this one here also to the back there. This line, well, how far before something happens? At that point something happens. Change of direction, aim it down. Okay, there's the first end of this roof. And here a line that's parallel to the picture plane is going to be parallel to the ground line. How far before something happens? Up to that point, there's a change of direction. Aim it to the SP. Uh, the fortunate thing is if I'm too quick for you, you can slow this video when you rewatch it. Okay. Um, okay, sorry, the height here, I just had to double check. Um, all right, that's the sorry. That's a corner here on top. This one there's an actual angle that drops, so we have to bring this point down. Apologize for that. Still, this line coming down. There it is. That's a better one. Okay, let's do the bottom. That bottom is parallel, so that goes to this side. Okay, now I'm in this corner, there it goes to the back. That's the base, as well as this end of the roof, there it goes. How far, there's the back one. Bring that down, same steps over and over. So this point is that point. And if you look at the top view, do you see the, from this point to this point, there's just a line. So you go join that in. Okay, now it starts making a full picture. Okay, to do our windows on this one, we already had our four corners here. I could just project that back as well for the small windows. So I'm going to just project each one of these corners back. Okay, and I'm going to come back to the front view, or the top view, bring the width down, bring that. There's a lot of lines. Do you see how complex this is going to be if you, if you try and draw all of the lines at the same time? You're going to be in trouble before you know it. Once I have one of these corners, I can get the others quite easily. Okay, there's a window on the side. The bigger window, maybe I'll draw that line for you. And 
going to zoom in a little bit for those of you who need to see a bit more. Okay, so there was the window sights which I got from my front view. I've brought them across, brought them across. Now I'm just going to use from here the window width. Aim that down. I'll do highlighters and stuff just now to help you just see all of the various lines. But it's those two points here that I'm going to bring down. Let me maybe do it while I am here. That window and that window width. All right. We're going to bring them down now to our perspective drawing. And it ends up being a nice big window here. Same with this end. The most difficult part of these two parts here, and that I'll help you revise quickly, is to get this um, tower correct. Make sure you draw your front view in construction and using this point here, which is in fact this one here that they've given, but it's, it's now on the front that goes to, back to the vanishing point. This point I'm going to get from my top view by aiming this to the SP and bringing that down. That gives me this point, and then the same, the other two corners is given, just join them in, and this point goes back to the vanish. Well, how far before something happens, there's the corner, if I follow that line back, that's where I got that line. Projected it down, all the way, that's the corner, and that makes this part easy. The back line for your reach is important. If you have that point, and you determine this point, then you just join those, these two points again to join those. And from the base, of course, that end of the wall, follow the path. Right here, that is uh, the first church building that you guys have done in grade 10. One point perspective. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.